On today's Maker Mashup, we're testing out the biodegradability of PLA plastic. On today's Maker Mashup, we're gonna be testing out the biodegradability of 3D prints. Now, this is a bit of an unusual video and I had no plans to do this video originally, but it was a result of one of our tech talks. And if you haven't checked one of those out, we do them every other week. And it is an open discussion between a lot of the people in the Makers Mashup Discord. And from time to time, we have different guests on the show, but it's an opportunity for makers like yourself to watch the show, ask questions and engage in real time on different topics and conversations that we have. So this video came as a discussion point in that tech talk and I've added a card at the top so you can watch the tech talk that had the discussion about filament and biodegradability. Now I'd recently started purchasing some higher quality filaments to just test and experiment with, uh, one of which being atomic filament. Now it's not the first high quality filament I've ever bought. I've bought Hatchbox and a couple of different others, but atomic fil filament was nearby in Indiana. And for me in Illinois, it was one of those cases where I get everything shipped to me in a couple of days if I pick neighboring states. So uh, the choice was really just the fact that they were close by and I'd heard the name before and known that they'd produced some higher quality filaments. I've got one of them right here and this is gonna be one of the test discs that we're gonna use for this experiment. Um, atomic filament mentioned to me, and this was to quite a surprise, uh, that PLA plastic is obviously got a shortage going on. Uh, and a lot of that is because people are looking for biodegradable forks, spoons, things that don't clog up the ocean. So it was interesting to me that uh, PLA was so biodegradable because what I had heard and largely uh, just seeing other posts on Reddit and uh, the internet at large, that PLA filament like this, just sitting on my desk, or maybe this benchy right here, uh, would last roughly 100 years, or even if I threw it in a landfill, it takes a very, very long time to biodegrade. So where that turned was the person from Atomic Filament had jumped in and said, no, that's not true at all. If you heat some water to 70 degrees Celsius and you put PLA filament in it, it will start to degrade in as quick of time as four days. And I'm like, whoa, four days? So we're talking about if I put this into a hot water bath for four days, it's going to dissolve. Atomic filament was like, absolutely, it will start to degrade. And from there, it will then start to biodegrade. So I thought this was really curious. And I gotta tell you, at first, I didn't really believe it. Now, I'm not an expert in filament. I don't work in a plastic industry and I don't work with plastic other than 3D printing or some other project that I might be working on. So the idea behind PLA filament biodegrading in just four days uh, came to a bit of a shock to me. Now I have seen other videos on YouTube where people have put PLA filament outside and it does start to rot or start to degrade a little bit, but that was over a year's time frame and also exposure to the sun. So UV had a big part in that, I felt. So when I was looking at that, I'm like, well, okay, so we're talking about four days and I should be able to start seeing PLA degrade if I put it in a hot water bath. And it didn't match what I've seen so far on YouTube. So after that, I decided I have to conduct this experiment myself. So for today's experiment, what we're going to do is we're gonna use this plastic tub, which is made out of polystyrene, and we're gonna be using a sous vide immersion heater. Now, if you've never used sous vide before, it's a way to cook that more or less pasteurizes your food. I know I'm oversimplifying that, but essentially you cook it at a lower temperature for a longer period of time, kills all the bacteria, and you can eat it in a state that you normally couldn't get from, let's say, a stove. But what we're gonna be using for today is we're gonna be able to get the sous vide up to 70 Celsius, and we're gonna fill it full of tub full of water. From there, we're gonna go ahead and I've printed different test disks. And these test disks 
it, it might be hard to see on the camera, but they're very thin uh, in the middle and thicker on the edge. So if this starts to biodegrade or at least dissolve, so we're not sure that this is really biodegrading here, it's at least, we're gonna at least attempt to dissolve these. And we should see it hopefully dissolve from the center out. There is a, a hole all the way through at the center and then we're gonna drop these discs into the water and we're gonna let it go for four days or five days and we're gonna see what the net result is. Now, I have atomic filament here because they were the ones that claimed 70 C and four days ended up with dissolved filament, uh, but I also picked some other manufacturers as well. So I'll include a complete list here, but uh, what we're gonna do is try a bunch of different filament from various vendors, and we're gonna put it in this tub for about four days, and we're gonna see what the outcome is. Will all of these filaments dissolve, or will we see partially dissolved, or will they just float around in the tub for a few days? Now, I also have a GoPro that I'm gonna set up with this so we can time lapse it as well, because obviously I can't sit here and watch this for four days straight. So with all that said, let's get to work. So I used two gallons to get started here. I just poured them into the tub. You can see here the sous vide is already going up in temperature. And we're gonna go ahead and get that all the way to 70 Celsius. And then we're gonna insert our discs. I condensed the video here. This took the better part of about an hour to get all the way up to temperature. 70 Celsius was pretty high temp for this. And the unit did just fine, but it definitely took a lot longer than it takes my 3D printer to heat up. Now that we're up to temp, we're going to go ahead and drop these discs in. You can see right away that they're already starting to flex out of shape because the temperature in here is over uh, the glass temperature of PLA. Now, one of the other interesting things, too, that I changed here in the video, uh, once I got this going, I ended up putting a plate of glass that you'll see later on here uh, to keep the discs from going ahead and getting into the sous vide unit. I didn't want to have them jam up or alter the tests in any way. So now that everything's in there, let's give it seven days and we'll come back. The GoPro video didn't work as well as I thought because the calcium and lime in the water started to accumulate and it made everything cloudy. Okay, so it's been seven days. I originally was going to run this experiment only for four, but at the end of four days, I really didn't see much of a difference. So I let it go for a few more days because at four days, I was just starting to see a few flakes in here of where you could see the parts were starting to be affected by the temperature and the water for the duration of being in that bath and circulating. So all of that circulation was taking place because of the sous vide unit. And I do wanna do a shout out to CDub 3D because they were the ones that recommended a sous vide unit for this. They're one of our Patreons and it was a really uh, great idea to use the sous vide because all I had to do then was set the temperature and let this go. So you can see here, this is the result of seven days at 70 degrees Celsius. You can see in the camera shot here that there are some small pieces of plastic. I'll try to grab one of them here and move them around. Uh, but you can see there that there's little pieces of plastic that have flaked off. Now these pieces in here that are broken, those were the result of trying to pull some of these out of the water here. Now they are extremely brittle. So as I pull these out and I grab one of these, you can see with the most minimal of effort, these break apart. So the ones that are PLA and don't have an additive seem to have started degrading. And you can take one of these and I can push my finger right through it. So these are crumbling at this point after seven days at 70 degrees Celsius. Now, if we take one of these, this one was the silk PLA. And if we take the silk PLA, this one is also degrading, but it is a little bit stronger than some of the other ones. So let's go to the atomic filament ones. They were the ones that mentioned to us that at 70 C after four days that they would start to dissolve. Now this one here is their silk uh, 
style PLA in this teal color. And this one is really showing no uh, dissolving or degradation at all. However, if I try to break it, this one is quite strong compared to the others. So this one I can't get to break much at all. It does look like the layers are dissolving here, but there's still quite a bit of strength to this. So at the very least, the silk or the ones that have an additive to make them silky are making them last a lot longer. Now, this one here, this one is the Overture PLA, and this one, it it's just falls apart. It breaks apart very easily. So I did go ahead and check on these after the four days, and after four days, they really did not degrade uh, much at all. As a matter of fact, I could only see maybe a couple of flecks uh, in the bottom, but it really didn't degrade at all. Now this is the atomic filament. Uh, this is the uh, blood diamond, and this one seems to be dissolving or, or at the very least breaking apart fairly easily. And then down here we have some 3D Salutec. Uh, this one fell apart just from bumping into the other uh, bumping into the other ones that were in the tank here. So what I did with this tank is uh, I basically kept pouring water in it. So you see a residue at the bottom here, and that, that white residue is not the PLA, but rather calcium and lime that's in my water. I did not use distilled water for this experiment. Uh, I was basically putting in anywhere to two to three gallons a day of water for this in order for this water to stay at a level that the sous vide unit would keep pumping through it. And this piece of glass that I put in here, I did that so it would protect the uh, test discs from getting into the mechanism of the sous vide unit. So overall, this was a really cool experiment. The one thing that was concerning was that the PLA filament with additives in it to make it silky did not break down the same way and I question whether or not those additives uh, are biodegradable at all. I really don't know, but it was interesting to see how much longer these lasted and how much tougher this was in comparison to the regular PLA. Clearly we saw here after seven days, there were still whole pieces in here. So I don't think this is really something that dissolves, but you can see here that even with minimal force, these break right apart. And I certainly couldn't do this if this was just fresh PLA. So there is a biodegrading or at least some sort of degradation process taking place here with this filament when you run it at 70 degrees in just regular water. So the interesting thing about this experiment was is that I was really surprised that it did break down as quickly as it did. Now it wasn't four days, but in fairness, this, did this does break apart right here very easily for just being seven days in 70 degrees Celsius water. Now, the real question is, how long does this really take to degrade in the environment? So. 70 degrees Celsius is a pretty high temperature and it's in a liquid state and that water was moving around constantly because of the sous vide. So this wasn't exactly conditions that you're gonna find in the normal environment. If this was in the ocean, how long does it take to degrade then? Like I said, I'd seen other videos that are out there that were uh, PLA filament pots and other things that had been left in the sun and those lasted over a year but they were starting to show signs of rotting. So I think we at least learned that PLA is biodegradable which we've all been told is true but when we do an experiment like this I still question how quickly PLA really does degrade in the environment and from what I've read it does take a lot longer than just putting it outside for a year or two years. So it would be interesting to run an experiment that really showed the amount of time that it would take to take this sort of PLA filament, put it into say a compost bin and see what those results are. Now I may keep this filament here that has been chopped up and try that this summer in a compost bin, but I really don't know what those effects are gonna be. It could take a very long time, but I do wanna go ahead and keep this around and see how this works. So there may be a follow-up video later on on how this filament interacts after we've gotten it broken down by the water here. 
So that's going to be the end of today's video. I want to send a special shout out to Atomic Filament who indirectly gave us the idea to run this experiment on here. I thought it was very cool to do. And I also want to thank CW3D again uh, for coming up with a great idea of using the sous vide for this. It really did make things uh, extra special. And I want to also thank my wife. Uh, she was the one that was constantly going down here and putting fresh water in this. So a big thanks to her for going ahead and doing that for us. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share it and also subscribe. I'm sure a lot of other people would like to see what happens when PLA degrades. And I thought we got a really, really good example of that out of this video. So with that, I want to say thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.